Resolution 1325 on Women's Business Security is indeed a landmark in that it is the first time that the Security Council focuses its attention exclusively to women as agents in their own right in situations of conflict and transition from conflict. About, you know, resolution 1325, it's to provide space for women's voices to be heard, to allow and encourage women's participation and have their concerns taken into account in all these processes where the UN is involved. The gender perspective or women's views and concerns should also be integrated into a language that should be available to both men and women and the whole of our society. What you find is that um, while women are active in political parties, they're actually not empowered in the central decision-making committees. Um, they're usually, uh, you know, more, play more of a supportive function than an active decision-making function. I mean, it's not just about addressing the leadership, but also the media and the rest of society. The United Nations doesn't always express an opinion, um, but it is our opinion, and we are entitled to do this on the basis of a Security Council resolution. It is our opinion that it should be more of your national conversation, um, and it should be the conversation of pe in the conversation of peace. This is an initiative of Heads Across the Divide and GET, which is the Gender Advisory Team. It's the Women's March for Peace. We're in the middle of peace negotiations yet again after 35 years. And we are trying to work out if when people hear the word peace, are they actually hearing and understanding the same thing? So everyone that passes, we're trying to engage passers by, especially women, because we're women's groups to see what they mean by peace. It's, we've had a really good response. People are really, some have stopped to really think, some have been asking us if they can put on. What is security? Is security guns? Is security checkpoints? Or is security some of the things written on that board outside?